Hi everyone, my name is Jamie and I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick walkthrough of Bamboozle's newest game mode, Bowling. All right, so for today, we're just gonna go ahead and play with two teams. And we're gonna do um, 16 questions, which will be eight questions each. When you have the teams and the questions ready, you can go ahead and hit next. And you can see here, we have team one and team two. I'm gonna go ahead and give those teams a name. And you can just hit random. This will randomly assign a bowling ball to each team, or you can go in and individually choose a ball. Then we have our options screen. Now, if you're playing with some young kids and you want to keep the scores low um, so it's easier for them to count, you can go ahead and turn on five pins so it's instead of 10. And if you have some younger students that get upset um, if they miss a shot, turn never miss function on and you can avoid that altogether. Now, you can turn the music down to any volume you want. Uh, for this, we'll just go ahead and turn it off and power ups. I'm going to leave the power-ups on. You can go ahead and turn them off at any time if you want to. If everything on the screen looks great, let's go ahead and hit OK, and we can start the game. OK, you can see that Team 1 is highlighted. It's super simple and easy. All you have to do is click on the ball to start the game. And this is a game of unscramble. So let's go ahead and roll the ball since we got the answer right. All right, Harry only knocked down one pin, so he only got one point. Try again, see if Bonnie's luckier. She was. Okay, let's go again. Okay, there we go. Now let's see what happens if we answer this question wrong. Our ball goes into the gutter. Now you may have noticed that we started out with five zones and we're down to three. The number of zones change with each turn. They start at five and go all the way down to two and loop around again. It just makes the game a little bit more exciting. And with every um, zone on the lane, you know, one could be a miss, one could be a hit, and one could be a strike. Okay. Now you see the power up over here to the left of the lane. And the number inside the power up just tells us how many we have but you also can see a small circle on the lane with a plus one. If your student or your team decides that they wanna go ahead and aim for that, they'll pick up another power up, but they don't have to. This is actually a great way for students and their teams to use some strategies, whether they want to pick it up or if they want to try and get a strike. We'll pick it up. And we got a strike, so that works out. Okay, let's go again. All right, now let's go ahead and use one of these power-ups. So with the power-ups, you never know what you're gonna get. It could help you or it could hurt you, but let's go ahead and give it a try. Extra shots, nice, okay. Very nice. All right, great, we got a spare. Let's keep going. Strike again. Yes, I love it. All right. And for this next round, let's go ahead and have Bonnie use a power up. Okay, let's see what happens. It says lose points. All right, well, three points wasn't too bad to lose. Okay. And you can see 
that's it. It's really simple. It's a really easy game to play with your students. I know that when I played it, my students absolutely loved it. Um, there were some fights breaking out, but that's okay. We have that happen sometimes. But I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial. I hope that it's answered any questions that you may have when you play the game yourself. And we hope that you've enjoyed it as much as we have.